here in Finland, we have a uh, little over 200 confirmed cases. They've uh, canceled all public schools for two weeks. Everything is super quiet. You you feel like it's a, it's a holiday time. Daily life is uncomfortably normal. As a healthcare provider, this has been unnerving. Um, I, I'll be the first one to admit I don't like telling patients things like we don't know. The community hasn't fully grasped how dire this can get. I live in an area where there are a lot of bars and restaurants and they were completely packed and going on as usual. In Shanghai, there was a level of stress, there was a level of concern, but there was an overall just feeling of, oh, the government's gonna take care of it. In Austin, it, it's so much more extreme. There's either just extreme panic where people are stockpiling, or just lots of apathy where people just don't really care. The handling of the virus here in Saudi Arabia is amazing. Uh, awareness is going everywhere. There are signs in the streets. We keep getting uh, spam messages on our phones. Uh, Twitter is filled with ads. Right now in Vietnam, they've made access to information easy. And they also came up with two apps that you can download right on your phone and you can report symptoms and you could see where uh, different cases are supported. Or reported. Turkey started using thermal cameras at airports at a very early stage. The town I'm in is a tourist town. I don't know how the economy for the town is going to do in the next few months. It's scary. There is uh, the fear of, you know, when am I going to work again? When am I going to be able to pay rent? A lot of people, you know, who are jobless right now because of the crisis, they don't have healthcare benefits. We are so lucky to live in Finland because we have universal healthcare and we have the public healthcare system. I, I think they're doing a horrible job of testing. I know people who have wanted to get tested but could not get tested because there aren't enough tests and everybody's being warned to not even go to the hospital because that's like the ground zero. We need enough testing so that we could literally test every person that wanted to be tested so people could confirm and self-isolate appropriately. Something that's been really worrying me about South Korea's test results is that the most infected are my age range, 20 to 29 year olds. One of the dangerous characteristics of this virus is people are testing positive without symptoms and they might not be showing the symptoms, but they're still spreading it. In my personal view, I'm more worried about actually contracting the virus in America. I'm 23, I'm super healthy, I'm not gonna die. Some young people think that they will not be negatively impacted by COVID-19. And I believe that's a little misguided. There is an impact on the communities they live in that will be significant. That impact can be economic in the businesses that close that employ young people, or it may also be in losing close friends or family members who are vulnerable to death from this virus. 